signals. First and ten. Bosco again back to pass, and he is going to go down as Levy Asteni comes blowing up out of the nose guard position. Levy leads the Aztecs coming into this game with seven quarterback sacks. Now make it eight. Watch Levy comes in unblocked that time, and Robbie Bosco said, what in the world are you doing back there? Handoff this time. That is Kelly Smith. He has got a hole on the left side. Got some room to move. Finally brought down over here on the left side by Brian Haley. Back up free safety that time. Why, yeah. Third and ten. Bosco. Lots of time. Kozlowski had it and dropped it. Glenn Kozlowski wide open, got behind Leroy Wardell at the 15-yard line, and the young man out of Carlsbad and Carlsbad High School, Glenn Kozlowski, flat out dropped the football for BYU. Drops back. Look at the time he's got. Looking across the middle. Intercepted by inside linebacker Herb Braun. And the Aztecs come up with a big turnover. Well, finally, finally, it won't be repetitive to say Bosco put it right on the money. He had two receivers coming across the middle. You take a look at Braun right in the middle of your screen, just dropping back into his zone. And there's Bosco looking for Mills coming across the middle. And Braun just kind of stepped back into the zone. And that is only the second linebacker interception of the year for San Diego State. David. Chargers struck in a 25-yard TD throw. Out to Charlie Joyner and now right over the middle. Dan Faust makes the connection. Jesse Bendross, the rookie from Alabama, makes the catch and it looks like he's got a first down. Good job of protection. Now Jackson running hard with the ball. Bad hand and all and on first down. Ernest Jackson takes it to the 25 for a gain of six. It's on the day, and it, as we said, spent quite a bit of time in the locker room in the meantime. Counter play. Not much there for Buford McGee is on second and four. He takes it to the 25 ahead for maybe a yard. So the Chargers are leading this game seven to six in the second quarter. Van Fouts pulling the trigger on an explosive offense, and he throws it out. It's to West Chandler for a first down. Roger Jackson covering, but it's tough to do against Chandler. Now on first down, he goes to the throw again. Locks one out, a little bit high. Boy, I'd like to have that one back. Joyner was open. Main man. Ends up being the all-time receiver. Charlie originally drafted as a defensive back by the Houston Oilers way back in 1968 out of Grambling. Dan Fouts says Charlie Joyner will retire when we'll let him. <laughs> Here's Fouts throwing. This time he's got Charlie Joyner for a first down to the 49-yard line. 16th year from Grambling. So many of those Grambling players last so long. Straight ahead running the ball is Lionel James. Good to see him back in there trucking as he comes across the 50-yard line and got ahead for only a yard. It'll be second down and nine. Had great hands, too. He could go also. Fouts. 10 of 18 throwing the ball. Elects to have a run at it this time. And second down and almost 10 is a straight ahead run good for five yards. Up around the league. Still a tie down in Tampa, Florida. Fouts throw in. There's Charlie Joyner. Third down. Charlie makes another one. 70% of his receptions have been good for first downs over the years. And Charlie Joyner makes another one. Broncos feeling that they had knocked that ball loose. Charlie continues to work his magic on this Bronco defense. Fouts, of course, with the injuries to his tight ends, he's looking for the key people that have kept him in ball games so many times. Dennis Smith, number 49, strong safety. A man that Charlie was working on there, and you saw the ball bounce loose after the contact with the grand yards and one touchdown in the game. He's already had, had a good first half. Real good one. Another throw. Jesse Bendross cannot quite get to the ball. Foley was covering the free safety for the Broncos. They're a very long drive, 13 plays so far in this drive. Second down, 10 yards coming up from the 31. Home run ball. 
almost a touchdown, almost a Louis Wright interception. And Fouts gonna feel a big rush here. They hold it off, and Fouts gets time. There's a throw incomplete. This field goal will be from 49 yards. Seven of eight so far this year. Only missed with a 58-yarder. Swings into it. Right there. So Rolf Benerska booms a long one, and the Chargers go out in front a little further. Tough call for Elway now as the Broncos go first and 13. Winder nothing. Elko got him, the middle guard. Fast peak. Now we go to second down and 12. Blitz, they pick it up. Elway's got to get out of that end zone and does, and then he really takes a lick at the five. Elway in the end zone. Again, has to run from trouble. He's got room to go here if he does. Now he just goes and throws it, and it's going to be a first down catch. What a play. Back. That's the name we know. We used to write the plays on a pad that we'd put on Sipe's arm, and then we'd just signal a play number, like number one. That was the first play on the list, and Sipe could look down and just read the play off his arm. Well, it's a little more complicated today. Good pictures on a bright, sunny day. Our producer for NBC Sports is George Finkel, our director Andy Rosenberg, as the Broncos with a first and 10 on the 18-yard line. They're heading this ball game, at least not so far. Now to the run goes Sammy Winder. He's to the 15-yard line and out to the 17, and that's all. To get up, maybe get a first down, but he's more concerned about not giving that ball back to San Diego just before the half. Second down and 12. Elway gives off, and the run goes nowhere. As these Chargers are getting supercharged as the game wears on. 1.5 a try. Elway down to Watson. What a football play. Elway is a marvel when he throws that high, hard one. Just hope you don't get hurt. That can happen. Nose of the football is as hard as a rock. As Elway drops the throw and hands off to Winder, who works his way ahead for maybe two yards. San Diego leading the game by seven. Denver looking to rally in the fourth quarter again, and the throw goes to Kay, the rookie tight end at Georgia Dog. Takes the ball down to the 36-yard line. That brings up third and five as Coach Reeve looks for the next one. Elway out of the shotgun. Big down, here's Elway throwing, he's got a man. It's a completed pass down to the 22-yard line for a first down. Side line, but that's certainly better news than what it appeared to be earlier in this ballgame. I think that may be a cramp as a result of the shot he took on the leg. Pitch back to Winder. Lead blocker is Peros, and Winder's inside the 20 on a first down carry and down to the 18. Tommy Winder the ball. down. Six yards to go. Winder goes right. Takes a look. He gets in for Broncos. Elway has a tip ball. It's free and it's incomplete. So Carlos, who's hit two, missed one. He'll try from the 27, 37-yard attempt. He got it. Three seconds to play to third down and goal for the Denver Broncos. And Winder goes in. And the Broncos again come from behind. Astounding. Do it week after week. The Denver Broncos have taken the lead for the first time in this game since they led 3-0 on the early field goal. Merlin, an interesting start. Maybe their best start ever. They tied their best start ever last week. Here's the throw and Holohan in the game in a desperate moment. Deep, try and bat one around and bring it down. Out stands in, lets her rip in. West Chandler's open. He's a puff of smoke when he gets it. Chandler tried to get, to get out, out of bounds. bounds. He didn't. He didn't make it. 13. Fouts stands in. He lets it rip down to the sideline. And West Chandler catches the ball to the 28. Quarters of football. It all rests firmly on the foot of number six, Rolf Bernerska. Uh, leading throughout the game. Now down by three with this final field goal attempt on the way. And it drifts wide. It's no good. And the Broncos will win again.